Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Balfasen and on this channel here we are talking about skincare and uh, we don't use a filter so uh, as you see me here is just as if you saw me on the high street really. Apart from I don't have a sunscreen on today and that is because we are going to test some sunscreens and when we are doing that then we are not putting any sort of sunscreen on first obviously. So today we are going to talk about two products from Avin and uh, one of them uh, looks like this one and uh, that is uh, this one here it says uh, it will sink in within three seconds so that sounds uh, really uh, promising I must say. And then there is uh, this one here which is a uh, tinted fluid. Both of these two here they are what they call fluids so uh, they are supposed to be not as thick as uh, a normal sunscreen I guess. So. The thing is that uh, they have uh, on their web page there are I would say three uh, versions uh, of uh, this one here in the sense that there is this one here which is a uh, tinted and then uh, there is another one which is a uh, you could think is untinted and uh, I took the one that was uh, untinted but in the version that is with no fragrance. So when I looked at the ingredients list, well, actually, it turns out that um, this one here, the difference uh, between this one and then this one here is uh, rather a lot. I mean, the, the sun filters, they are, or the UV filters, they are basically the same. But there are some differences, and it's not just the color. There are some other ingredients in as well. And I guess that makes a little bit of a difference in the way that it sinks into the skin, maybe. So um, I have tried this one here for a couple of days. And I will say it do actually think in um, relatively um, quick, I would say. But uh, of course, you need uh, rather a lot when you are putting a sunscreen on, unfortunately. And uh, that would be uh, 1.25 milliliter. So uh, what I thought I would do today is that we'll uh, try this one here on one side of the face and then try uh, this one here on the other side of uh, the face. So the thing is, of course, that uh, we have tried before with the uh, tinted sunscreens and uh, still you need to use uh, the correct amount. You can't just say, I just need a little bit in order to make it look nice or a little bit uh, sun kissed or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's not like that. And I would say uh, these two here, uh, sometimes you can actually take a, a tinted sunscreen and then you can take the exact untinted version, not a, a different sort of thing. but the one that is untinted, then maybe you can just uh, mix them a little bit just to get a little bit of a tint into the untinted one. But I would say in this case here, I would say they are very much uh, different uh, from each other. So I would not mix these two here. So um, if we just uh, take the one that is um, the one that is supposed to sink uh, in really well uh, or very quick, that is uh, the one that is an SPF of 50 and they are both uh, SPF 50. You can see this one here and uh, the other one here and they are with Ocean Respect and, and or that sort of a thing and uh, it has this new uh, filter that uh, Aven are using and that is uh, the one they call Triasorb and uh, or they call Triasorb B I call it Triasorb but um, that is a new filter and it will cover both uh, UVA and UVB but not entirely as such so there are some other filters in it as well and uh, they are all these sort of uh, modern filters so uh, unfortunately you cannot get it in America because of the uh, FDA and all that sort of uh, ruling going on over there so if we just take uh, the one here that is uh, the one that is uh, not tinted, voila, that was an unboxing. And uh, we take this one here and it doesn't really have a, a smell or anything. I mean, sometimes people can say that, well, it actually does have a sort of a smell. Yes, it might have a smell, but uh, it, a product does not necessarily have a, a perfume in it. If they say that it is not with any perfume, that is a, not a fragrance, but uh, a thing can actually smell anyway and sometimes sun sunscreens they do smell rather awful even that there's no perfume in it and sometimes a perfume can be nice but sometimes they can be very like beachy and uh, lollipop kind of like i think so we just uh, take this one here and uh, we will take 1.25 milliliter and then we kind of like take half of that or try to take half of that so it has this sort of a slight uh, orangey sort of a color and that is uh, because of some of the filters in there but also they have used a little bit of red in order to um, combat that sort of a yellow color it would otherwise have so maybe you can see it is a little bit um, orangey or yeah a little bit to the yellowish sort of a side so now we can like uh, take half of this stuff here and that is of course a little bit difficult they say it's a uh, fluid and yes it is fluid in the sense that um, I mean you can still see it makes a small top so it's not that fluidy so uh, I would say there are some uh, stuff from La Roche-Posay for example that is uh, a lot more uh, fluidy like uh, the uh, Shaka fluid 
So this is kind of like something in between. So I would take a uh, half of this stuff here. I just take the whole thing out like that, and then just go like that because then I get kind of like half, and then take this stuff off and just go on this side here. And yes, it doesn't have a smell. So like that, and uh, on the forehead here as well, and not too much into the um, into the hair. So which I just washed today because I've been very ill. COVID, so I thought I better take a shower before I go online or before I start to produce any sort of a video evidence. So like that, and then um, down here on the neck as well, I just, my hands is kind of like a lot easier with this hand here, I would say. So down we go, like that, and I don't have any cream on at all, it's just this uh, sunscreen here. And it does actually, I will say, as you can see, it starts to sink in pretty quick. So in that sense, it works uh, okay. I just put some of the stuff on the eye as well. And I've tried this before. And I would say using it during the day, it did not annoy my eye in any way. Not even in the sense that it's sort of a kind of like a, maybe it did not burn or stuff like that. But more like sometimes you can have a sunscreen that is uh, just a little bit a tad too oily. And that sort of an oily feeling in itself can annoy the eye. But uh, this stuff here, I had it on. Um, today and I have had it on some other day as well and uh, I would say it actually works uh, pretty well but um, the thing is that when you're touching your face during the day um, kind of like um, it just keeps feeling like you have a some sort of a balm on your face or something like that it is uh, a little bit uh, greasy but it's not it's not as um, you could expect from a, an event product which is uh, usually in my opinion rather thick and very uh, greasy so in that sense i would say that this is uh, a lot more um, it's easier to handle i would say for for greasiness and yes i should put some stuff on my ear as well but now we just go down the neck that must be enough so in this matter here I would say it does actually work uh, okay and did not annoy my eye, but it still has this sort of um, like you're putting a balm or something, an ointment on your skin. It is a, a little bit to the uh, thick side, I would say, but um, definitely it does not have a smell and uh, it did not annoy my eye. But another thing that is that because of the filters that are in uh, this product here it is kind of like a semi um, uh, solid or in the sense that it's not just a, a, a chemical sunscreen it is um, more like a, a physical one as well kind of like a mix so uh, that means that uh, when you are blinking with your eye during the day then you will get a, a line up here that is kind of like a yellowish just like uh, the product itself and that is because it is a sort of um, one of these uh, filters here they are a, a mix between a, a chemical and a physical sort of uh, sunscreen and that what does it even now i would say that it has sunk in really quick and uh, just touching my skin now it feels like there is some sort of a um, thickness to it yes definitely there is and it is uh, just uh, a thing when you are dealing with the uh, aven uh, you should just have uh, the expectation that uh, it will be a sort of um, a greasy sort of a thing really but it is not as bad as it uh, could be so if we try uh, the other one here which is the uh, tinted one try that on the other side maybe i don't think you can see that but i can see uh, if i go close up after having worn it for a while, I can see that uh, everywhere there is a sort of a, a line and stuff like that. Then uh, there will be um, this sort of a yellowish thing just as uh, on my eyelid. So we take this one here and uh, that is uh, the uh, tinted one. So a uh, fluid uh, tinted or tinted fluid as they call it, kind of like it looks like this. And I would say when I open this, I can just show you that uh, the other one that we spoke about uh, in another video, I have that one here, that is the, the Cleanance here. I'll just have a quick look at that because I think this one is a little bit darker in the color than I remember this one here is. But um, I remember it wrong because they are kind of like very uh, dark, uh, both of them. So uh, if we just have a quick look, it kind of like they look um, kind of like the same, really. So in that sense, it's kind of like just the same. So this one here just promised to be a little bit more liquidy. And we could just have a little look. How liquidy is it compared to the other one? Well, if I just take the other one on my hand like this, I would say this is um, pretty liquidy. 
if the other one is liquidy, the one we just tried. And then take the other one we're going to try today. Is that a little bit more liquidy? Really, I would be very hard pressed to say that I could say any sort of a difference here. So uh, yeah, we just take this stuff off again and then we go correctly in and we take a clean spoon here. And then we try uh, this one here, which is the uh, tinted fluid. So we just make sure this is the correct one. So we just take like this. And again, as you can see, this is not very, I mean, yes, yes, it does uh, kind of like a uh, settle, but um, it's not as liquidy as I thought it would be, or fluid. So we just take half of the stuff here, the, the whole thing, and then we kind of like, as before, divide it, sort of like that. You can see it's sort of empty, like that. That's just took half of the stuff off. So we go on this on the side here, and um, <clears throat> it uh, does feel a, a little bit like um, rather a tint. So um, that is basically just exactly what I expected. This is uh, something that is definitely um, not easy to work with color wise. I mean, you definitely, you, you need to have this color here. And I think that if you like this stuff here, either I think that you are using too little or, well, I'm not quite sure, you must ex have exactly this sort of color, but still, even that you have that, then um, it just uh, will look like you are wearing uh, way too much foundation. So, and this one here is actually perfumed, <laughs> but if you are allergic to perf perfumes, uh, then of course it will be a problem, regardless of if you can smell it or not, but uh, I would say, yes, there is a sort of perfume in it, okay, but um, it is not... It's not much, smell-wise. So we go on like this, and we'll just put uh, some stuff on the eyelid as well. So like that. So this one is a little bit uh, different than the other one because the ingredients, there are some other ingredients in it as well. So it's not just, as I said, a, a colored one compared to an uncolored one. And uh, it does uh, actually feel, um, let me just clean my this, this other hand here. Um, I would say this here does feel like um, when I put this stuff on here, it definitely it sunk in a whole lot better. Uh, and this one here keeps uh, being um, greasy, where at this point here, the other one would already have been sinking in. So kind of like uh, when you're using this one on this side here, then um, it kind of like uh, you need to work uh, pretty quick, really to make sure that you distribute it sort of evenly. And this one here, um, I would just say, this is uh, sort of uh, really close to the usual stuff from um, Aven. It is uh, a greasy affair. Um, yeah, I would say this is, is not something I'm gonna buy again. And in general, I would say the problem, as always with tinted sunscreens is that it's just, it's just a lot of tint. And I would say that my point in using um, a tinted sunscreen, that would be to take away if there were any sort of a white cast or anything like that, to just add a little bit of color in order to neutralize that uh, sort of cast. But still, here we are talking about one color. And uh, I'm pretty sure that one color in this instance here does not fit everyone. So uh, and rarely I would say that one color fits everyone. So, um, yeah, this is uh, sort of how it sort of um, looks. Um, it is a greasy affair. And uh, I would say this stuff here, it will definitely go on to my t-shirt and clothing and all that sort of a thing. And, um, yeah, this is um, the usual stuff. It's not something I would uh, bother buying. Um, so, what do I like about these two products here? Well. The color one here is a no for me, uh, but then uh, there is uh, this uh, other one here. I would say that is um, not that bad. It actually uh, surprises me that it actually works uh, relatively well. But uh, there is just that little thing that, as I said before, when you're dealing with the Aven products, they are a tad sort of uh, greasy. And uh, this is no exception, but it's just, this is bad. This is not as bad. But it's still, it's, um, well, um, 
it's not something I'm gonna buy again I'm afraid and uh, I think that is uh, the usual stuff with the uh, oven I haven't so far tried any sort of a uh, sunscreen product from oven that I would buy again so uh, maybe they should um, work a little bit harder and see um, what of their competitors what are they doing in order to make something that is a little bit less greasy um, something like that because I think that uh, when you have a product that is so very greasy I think that people tend to use uh, not that much and I think that is really uh, a shame because then you don't get the protection that uh, you expect so uh, yes this stuff here it uh, leaves a um, sort of yellowish line in the eyelid thing here up and uh, it will be uh, in your crease lines and stuff like that as well and I think if you have dark skin it will be a lot more noticeable than uh, it is on my skin so yes this stuff here is uh, not something I'm going to buy again so uh, I'm afraid uh, this is a no for me so if you'd like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do all the things you must do not to be notified when I upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye